So you're looking for some new apps. Maybe you wanna take photo manipulation to the next level, or maybe you wanna keep a track of all your favorite TV shows, or maybe you just wanna take any regular old app and put it on steroids. Well, welcome to another episode of the Top Android Apps. One of the greatest features a lot of the recent flagship smartphones have built into their camera software now, primarily as a result of the dual lens cameras, is portrait or depth mode. And now with afterfocus, you can have this feature on any smartphone. So portrait or depth mode enables you to create DSLR-like photos by blurring the background whilst keeping your subject sharp and in focus. The app has two methods of detecting the background, smart and manual, but the app handles the effect surprisingly well. It's not ever gonna be able to compete with the quality of the phones that have dual lenses, which handle the effect a lot differently, but it's gonna get you pretty close. So messenger apps such as WhatsApp or Facebook are pretty handy for the most part, but one way in which they are lacking is in the types of files that they can send natively, which is pretty much limited to just pictures and documents. Send any file as the name helpfully suggests, unlocks the ability to send any and every file, including zip and .rar files via any messenger application. So there are two methods to send files using send any file. The first by sharing the file via send any file from any file manager application, which will then process it so it can be sent through any other messaging application. The second method is to do it within the messenger application itself by choosing send any file from the file chooser window and then going from there. If you're transferring file types of all different styles, then you may wanna consider this app. All of us no doubt use copy and paste in some form pretty much every single day of our lives. Well, now we have an easier way of doing this with copy. This app replaces the home button long press Google Assistant feature, but in doing so takes a screenshot of whatever is currently on your display, which the app will then analyze the content of and then present to you easy to tap options to copy text elements from what's currently on the screen. So using this app, I can now copy text from locations that were previously impossible to, such as the Google Play Store, Google Maps, and YouTube. It's not always gonna be something you require and it is a touch annoying that it replaces the Google Assistant trigger shortcut, but for those times you wish you could copy that baked in text, now you can. Okay, if you don't already know, I'm a big fan of minimalistic anything and so it goes without saying that an app such as Minimalist Wallpapers is going to spark my interest. The app really needs no explanation other than to say that it is full of a bunch of super high quality, visually appealing wallpapers that are gonna complement just about any setup excellently. It's got an easy to navigate user interface that makes finding wallpapers that suit your needs ridiculously quick and easy and there are a whopping 2,500 wallpapers and backgrounds to choose from. TV Time is an application that lets you track your favorite TV show so you can see when new episodes are being released, where seasons are currently up to, where you left off in your own watching, plus heaps more. I'm currently keeping a track of Suits, Black Mirror, Prison Break, and Stranger Things, which just quietly are all amazing shows if you ask me. But with TV Time, not only can I be alerted when recent episodes have aired, but once I've watched an episode and marked it so in the app, then a community of fans and content is unlocked, which gives me the ability to create video reactions, memes, polls on who people favorite characters are and so on. Not only that, but the app will also create and collate a bunch of recommended lists of shows related to the shows I've already watched or I'm currently watching. So if you've just finished a recent season of a TV show and you're looking for a new one to start, this app has got you covered. There's also a heap of additional features thrown in, such as the ability to follow friends to see what they're watching, as well as a trending articles section that keeps you updated on interesting news and information updates regarding your favorite TV shows, plus a bunch more. So if you're someone who loves TV, then this is an app worth checking out. Back pocket games are super handy when you wanna kill a short amount of time and laps definitely fits the bill here. So the game involves a rotating circle that counts down a certain amount of laps each game, and it's your job to shoot your tiles to try and match them with their corresponding colors. Fuse three of them together and you gain a bunch of points. And the more points you get, the further you progress from level to level, which means you get to start the game with more laps on the board. It's a fairly simple game with simple mechanics, but the simplicity of laps will keep you entertained for good stretches of time. 
These days, many of us tend to have several accounts across several social media platforms, and so an app like App Cloner has been made to help us out. App Cloner does exactly that. It clones any app you choose, creating a separate APK file that you can install as a separate application, which you can then use to access multiple account logins. More than that, you can actually use this cloned app as either a backup of the original in case an auto update of the original app ever goes awry, or better yet, you can use the cloned app to customize the experience an app offers you through the many different modding options App Cloner provides. These cloned apps work independently from the original applications, so you can go to town with a wide range of added functionality such as password protection, incognito mode, spoofing locations, plus heaps more. It's a fun, unique little app that opens up the experience of your everyday boring applications. Whether it be through the loudspeaker or through headphones or through a Bluetooth speaker, one way in which we all no doubt use our phones is as an audio device. Well, Muviz now enhances that entire experience by placing a music visualizer behind your navigation bar that responds to whatever audio your device is playing. It's not worth nothing Inhaling poison All I would do there are a bunch of different designs to pick from, as well as the ability to edit or even create your own designs, which is crazy, but the best part is that it requires no root access whatsoever. The amount of apps that take an unearthly amount of storage and processing power on our devices is fairly ridiculous, and so an app like Hermit is the perfect solution. Hermit is a light apps browser that can replace our large native apps with web-based light apps. So for example, we're talking a seven megabyte file size for Facebook instead of the 55 megabytes which the native version takes up. Not only that, but Hermit also adds a bunch of extra features to the user experience of each application as well, such as data saving, ad blockers, night mode browsing, reading mode, plus a bunch more. The only downside is that the free version only lets you install two light apps at one time. So if you're looking to save valuable storage space on your phone, then it might be best to grab the pro version and start replacing every single app you own. But that is it. All of the apps I've talked about will be included as links in the notes below. So don't forget to check them out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That really helps the channel out. And even better yet, if you loved the video and you like the sort of content that I produce, why not hit subscribe? And while you're at it, hit that little bell icon so you stay notified for whenever I release a new video. But that's it from me. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you later.